Okay, so you, you, you had an intro for this whole question and answer thing, right? <laughs> of addressing the question. Right. If you want to address the question, you've got to be specific. You address, if you have a question for Jeff, you ask Jeff. If you have a question for Chris, you ask him. If you have a question for Mike Chase, you ask him. If you have a question for Mickey, you have to ask him. Especially Mickey. Yes. Can <laughs> yeah, I have a question for Jeff? Okay. Um, you wrote the lyrics to the song? Yes, to the theme song yep. and the credit song. I wrote the lyrics to my buddy in uh, Columbus, Ohio, Nathan Widener. He put the music to it. So he put the music to it? Yeah, and okay. sung it. He's the one who also sung it as well. Okay, so it's, but there's two voices on there. Who's the second voice? It's him. He dubbed oh, his voice. He dubbed the voice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. I was hoping it was Jeff and Nikki that I it sang it. But <laughs> yeah. I was hoping, but... Yeah, that's a good idea. We might do it. We, we, yeah, yeah, we, we can do it. I don't know if Mickey sings. We have to ask him. Uh, <laughs> I think Mickey sings. Any other questions for any four of us? <laughs> did, you, did you have fun making this? Oh, it was a blast. It, yeah. He says it's therapy. Oh, I can imagine. Well, mo most of it is, uh, I mean, kudos to Chris did everything. Did, we, we, we had to do script readings. Like when he's done script, we have to read through it. I don't memorize lines very often. I don't like to. So he said, you know, this is where you're going to talk about the coffee table, or this is what, you know. He said, I'm counting on you for your improv. All I have is just stuff that swims around in my head. Most of what was done is one take. Really? Most of it was just one shot. You know, stuffed it, would come out of Mickey's head. And so it was something, yeah, it is, it's therapy for me. So, uh, the ham clam poetry thing, that wasn't even in the script. That was total improv. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Spur of the moment right there, spur of the moment? Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. So, wow. So I think that it's um, because he doesn't know what's coming, and I don't know what's coming, and uh, and we play off each other really well. The chemistry it works is good. good. It works good. Um, and we did play around with the lighting a little bit, and we think it's good. So we're going to be doing... Episode two. Uh, Hopefully, this coming weekend we'll start filming episode yeah. two. And we're gonna we're, we want to have I think we're gonna have a couple here, right? Or are they here? We're yeah. Well, Mandy and Nancy. I don't know if Mandy's still here or not, but uh, Nancy is <coughs> gonna play my mom. Oh. 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 <laughs> and, uh, and Mandy is gonna play my ex-wife. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So we want to have lots of cameos. <laughs> no. We will have Al. At some point, he, what, we're not sure how he's going to write him in, but... Aaron's going to be in it. Al okay. could be your brother. Yeah, well, well, see... Your younger brother. Yeah. Younger. <laughs> yes, you are. And maybe we'll go shirtless. Hey, hey. I don't know if I've got as much hair on my back as you, but yeah. I think I might... What do you think? You can do hair. Um, yeah, so we want to have cameos, and... You will get to see, how much is that, episode two, the gypsum? No, episode three will be the, uh, the gypsum. How many episodes are there? Well, well, we're just going to keep making them. I've got four written all together, and I'm working on the fifth. So we're hoping at least the first season might have five episodes, at least. Are they per week? No, they're going to be each month. Each month. But there's going to be an episode each month, but in between those you know, three to yep. four weeks, yep. we're going to have a behind-the-scenes episode. Excellent. So we're, we're going to have behind-the-scenes of what all happened the first episode, just different things of what things are about to keep people interested. So you're going to fill our appetite, thing. Right, right. And so, surprises now, should we tell them about Granite and Rocky? Yes, yes. I don't know if you noticed, but one reason to watch it when we upload it on YouTube is we're going to have a little promotional contest. There's these two pet rocks. And we've hidden them almost in every scene. So the bigger one, his name is Granite, and the smaller one's name is, is Slater. And so your job is to find all these pet rocks, count how many times they're in the different scenes, and if you come up with the correct number in the correct scenes, we will uh, do two things. We will give you a free t-shirt, Home Accents t-shirt. They're not made yet, but they will be. And, and you will, uh, if you're local, 
will actually have you as a cameo walk on appearance on the show. But if you, if like somebody from far away that's watching the show writes in or whatever, and it's somebody that can't travel to New Brunswick, they'll appear on a cameo as far as a photograph. Cool. So they'll be like in a magazine or like in a family photo or something, and so that person will kind of have a walk on role. Yeah. So, so the, the, the t-shirt, excuse me, the t-shirt that you win is it going to have some of Mickey's back hair on it? No, <laughs> I can put, I can get Tammy. To start plucking, putting in individual little bags. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we can number them to authenticate yeah. them. So, you know. But what we wanted to do is um, maybe with episode two is is I have talked with tours in New Brunswick a couple of years ago. So I just want you to kind of pray about this because um, I want it to go someplace. Not necessarily maybe home accents. It's fun to do, but so we're introducing some of the information in there is information that hopefully someone will go, well, I never thought of that. Or maybe you've never held a piece of gypsum in your hand, so you'll see that in Bald Peak. And we want to put in some factual tourist information that I think the tourists in New Brunswick, along with hopefully UNB, maybe St. Thomas, I want to work with them, are scheming about uh, taking it to a bigger level. Because I'll give you an exercise to do. Google tourism New Brunswick. Just just Google and see what's not there. It's pathetic. Mm. So I have a vision of wanting to uh, create some real nice healthy full-time jobs, do an online internet-based, app-based uh, thing based on this. Take the characters, whether it's Jeff and Mickey, and go through the province and hit certain things. And Anyway, so it's just be in prayer about it because so yeah we do we want it to be funny we want it to be different we want it to create some mystery in there and, and, uh, so. does anybody else have any questions for e oh yeah is it just the two of you right now working on this whole thing yeah doing the whole thing. well he does all the all i do is just act stupid like, all i do is <laughs> <laughs> well, he, you're the gaffer I'll do the lights. I do the lights, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I found that. I'm so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's fun because, and and I personally think that with Dr. Dialect, um, which is somewhat overtly religious, but. My only problem was I couldn't hear a lot of what you said because of the can laughter. Yeah, okay. So maybe if you could either. Can the laughter? Well, yeah, we could. I just couldn't hear some things because they were laughing right yeah. when you were saying the funny part. Yeah. So maybe. And it might sound different online, too, because, you know, it was, yeah. But that's part of it, right? It's, it's learning. Yeah. Learning. Yeah. Learn, yeah. More lights, like the lights. And, and, and so, anyway. But, but it was excellent. It really was excellent. Yeah. Well, it was really fun. Well, we got a question back. Yeah, it was really good. I was wondering if you were taking a donation tonight. <laughs> well, you, you had a lot of <laughs> well, um, we weren't planning to, but um, you know, we're hoping like with the first run of t-shirts that we can give them away free and maybe we can make a second run of t-shirts and get sponsors. Because yeah, we will kind of need, because this isn't a low budget production, it is a no budget production. Everything that you see has come out of our pockets and stuff like that. So donation would be appreciated, you know, for gas, for traveling. Asking, like, because if there's some people who'd like to donate tonight. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I would donate. Well, and because we need, now, this is a dream of Chris's, but I told him, I assured this, this will happen, we will have an interview face to face with Terry Sabin. Yeah. Uh, awesome. we, will, we will do that. Um, also, you know, since you're here, um, you noticed that we were doing real and fake commercials. Yes. We didn't get paid for those. We just want to pr promote businesses and plastic. Yeah, sure. So I would like to do a commercial for Heidi's chocolates, maybe. Yeah. That would be awesome. Can I eat it? Can I eat yeah. it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a sponsor for Pond Hockey, so uh -huh. I could probably sponsor something. Yeah, I mean, we can make a commercial or whatever. Uh, yeah. What inspired you to make this show? And where did you get your ideas? Well, the inspiration came just by doing Dr. Dialect. Uh, we were doing Bruce, the most masculine man, goes to the PBR. You should watch it. And you should, you should watch this stuff. Really we're sitting awesome. in the back seat while our wives are in a home decor store. <laughs> right? So they're in there, and I'm just I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm like, Mike. Like, this, this, this Dr. Dialect is, is fun. Why can't we make a sitcom out of it? Uh -huh. like, yeah. And then we just started. The ideas just started rolling. Cool. And then it's like, let's call it, and I looked at the store, 
let's call it home accidents. Uh, uh, you know, because it takes place in a home and he does all the different accidents. And so we started coming up with these crazy characters and stuff. And it's like, hey, all we can do is try. And if it fails, we'll have fun doing it. Yeah. 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 So let me ask you a question. Um, when you heard the grandfather, see, what we're trying to do is to just create a little bit of mystery. Mm -hmm. I want people to watch and go, was that his grandfather? Was there someone there? Or what? Right? Or was there someone so we're going we're gonna to play on that a little bit. There is a lot of mystery. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and, how, and I like the Chris with the work he did on the sound. How many got the. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Mr. Gady, we need to deal with oh, yeah. the catastrophe oh, yeah. of the time. And the proctologist? <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, so it's good. Appreciate that. Love, love the uh, the flatulence commercial, by the way. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm a guy, locker room, I, you know, I, I do like... Where God you? Huh? Where God split you? <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be too offensive, but oh, I, I, I do kind of like fart <laughs> jokes every now and then. I mean, it, you know, so... Right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. Well, maybe when Bruce, the most masculine man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, anybody else have any other questions for any four of us? For Jeff or Mickey or Mike or Chris? Any questions? Anything that you didn't get? Yeah. Is there a way to find out more about these characters before you watch that on YouTube? Like. Well, I'm just new here. I'm just Dr. Dialect. Scene. Yeah, the Dr. Dialect will kind of okay. give a lot of, like, um, my, 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 um, yeah, I've got some business cards, so. I mean, you got stuff on there like the Rational Redneck. you got, uh, uh, Jorge. Yeah, the, the Logical the Latino. Logical, you got the Logical Latino guy. And, uh, Taylor, right? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, for the French, uh, yeah. for the people that, well, not so much for the French, but for the Fringlish guys. Fringlish. <laughs> I do hunting stories, and uh, so we do some French stuff on. Perfect. So the red green stuff. Here's some red green. Yeah. Some red green. That, that's coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think Dr. Dialect is what inspired us to do the home accent. So a lot of these characters are coming from the Dr. Dialect, which is more overtly religious than the home accents. So um, I got business cards that I can pass out, and it'll give you the, uh, the um, YouTube channel. And on that channel are its playlists. And the playlist is home accents and Dr. Dialect for the more entertainment stuff. The rest of it's just me teaching. That's so. good. Because oh, yeah. you, you can learn about the uh, tzatziki. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I got one more question. What what can we do as uh, as supporters of YouTube, and how we would like this to take up? What can we do to help? Pray, literally. literally. Well, pray. pray. Yeah, talk, talk it up. Talk I mean, it. I don't just say pray to pray because uh, I think we have something. You know, I mean, Chris's talent. Yeah. Our brains together, we are different. We're just like night and day, you know. That's why even Chris's thought towards the end, you know, I don't know if you got that, but at the very end, you know how you have at the end of something a bad hat, Harry, or or bad robot or whatever. So our thing is uh, a pastor and a rabbi. I walk into a bomb. I walk one. You know, because I am a rabbi and he is a pastor, so you know, and it's called Into a Bar Productions. Yeah. And just talk about. Yeah, share it on share it on well, Facebook. Talk well, it up to your friends. I, I have the the posters that you gave me that I can make copies and, and spread around. But uh, other than that, and talking it up, and be a willing participant if you say, "Hey, you want to be on the show?" Yeah. <laughs> so so this is going to be posted online, right? Right. At the end of August, I'm going to post this episode. Now I know a lot of there are some in here who doesn't have a computer, doesn't even know about YouTube, and they probably would never see it unless we showed it. So for you, I wanted to show it, but also to get the interest for the people that do have computers so that, you know, they will, you know, subscribe to the channel and, and like the post and everything. So at the end of August, there's already six videos already on the Home Accents uh, playlist, and it's the theme song and the ads, you know, the coming this fall, and coming a little bit about the show. Yeah. The 10 yeah. things, so like and share if you can. Yeah, yeah, that's how you can support is like and share, talk it up, share yeah. it with family and friends. Subscribe. Post, yeah, subscribe, post uh, the videos on Facebook or wherever. Because we do, we want to ac accent plaster. Yeah. yeah. You know, bring stuff in like the commercials with Dean's. Dean's was, Dean was ecstatic. Oh, yeah? Uh, we were kind of hoping he'd be here tonight. I think he would have enjoyed he's, it. He's hard to impress. I think and, he's the most 
Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. And he's kind of a hard guy to impress, and he was like, "That's great, thanks," and it made me feel really good. You know? Jeff, so Jeff, yeah. don't don't. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thank you. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming. Just having you out here and having this place full and the support, it just blows me away. Thank you so much. Thank you. A pastor and a rabbi walk into a bar. Beautiful New Brunswick. Be in this place. It's not just the drive-through province anymore.